So many heroes have emerged from the storm. Alonso Guillen was one of them. He was a dreamer, one of the thousands of undocumented immigrants who came to the U.S. as a child. And when Harvey hit, he put his life on the line to help. Here's Jobin Paniker. In these albums, there has to be a good picture for the funeral. Not an easy job for a brother having to see the face he dearly misses. Uh, we cry and uh, we remember him. We, we sat every day. Alonzo Guillen and his friend Tomas Carrion died rescuing people during Hurricane Harvey. Their boat hit a bridge and flipped. From their town of Lufkin, news spread quickly. Waiting and hoping and checking in. Alonzo was 31 years old, a DACA recipient and on the path to citizenship. It's one of the first time come from the United States. Alonzo was 14 when he came to the States, was a dreamer before the designation, made a living as a DJ, saw music as a way to connect. He was an amazing guy. He was so respectful. As a radio DJ here in the town of Lufkin, he had already organized drives to help down south. But then he wanted to go personally. His parents are devout. They do not speak English. Ya no va a estar con nosotros. Eso es lo que nos duele. But pain and sorrow, we can all understand. We searched him for five days, you know. For days, teams searched in Spring, Texas for both men. Family tells us Alonzo's father was drawn to one spot, prayed about it. While search teams moved on, it was ultimately there his son was found. Goodbye, like this. That's it. A brother remembers the last moment together. Alonzo was leaving, gave a simple wave, and then turned the corner. Tomas's funeral was held earlier this week. Alonzo's is on Saturday. And these will be the pictures you find there. Reporting in Lufkin, Joven Panicker, Channel 8 News.